Uh, so as you can see, as he's mixing it up, you don't have to spend like five minutes doing it. You're good, you know, one minute or so just to kind of get everything off the bottom agitated. Uh, also in our toolkits, also in our toolkits, we also uh, do so, it does come with a mix paddle for your mix drill. So if you're still, if you're interested in any toolkits, you can, it will be coming in uh, the toolkit. That should be good, Taylor. Okay, so the product is mixed two to one. So the way that we do it for easy cleanup and that sort of thing, you could take one of these buckets and you could pour two of, of A in there and pour of, of one of B and then pour it in a bucket and mix it up. The issue with that is, is that it gets cr crazy messy. Uh, you miss the bucket, now you have paint everywhere. So what we do, what we, what kind of a little trick that we do is we take a tape measure. Uh, this is by volume, so we're, we're measuring this, this five gallon bucket. Uh, since it's a two to one mix ratio, I'm not sure, Taylor, which... Four inches to six inches. So we, he did six inches to the, uh, to the first screw and then four, or I'm sorry, four, four inches and then two. So it's two to one. Um, this is how we do it. So he'll know to pull the part A up to the four inches. Then he's going to fill the part B up to the two inches. And then we will mix in this one bucket. So it's all self-contained. You don't have to mix and match and pour a bunch of different things in here. It's all done in one. So it's just a, one of our tricks of the trade that we do uh, that we would, are able to show you that uh, most places that sell epoxies don't know these kind of tricks. Ready? Yes, sir. All right, so he's going to pour this up to that first screw. You can see it on the inside of the bucket. That's the beautiful thing about using the screws. Uh, they don't leak uh, as well. So, so he'll stop right there at that first screw. And then now he's going to take the part B. Now it's really, really important. You're going to get multiple, multiple products if you buy from us. Uh, there's some top coats, there's base coats, there's all these different products. You have to make sure you're using the proper A and B together. If you buy urethane from us and you use a part B urethane and mix it with, with a part A epoxy, it will not cure. Uh, and then you'll be sitting around wondering why your floor is still wet. So it's very important that you match labels for labels, read all instructions. Is it not, what's up? Uh, you don't need to use any, this is 100% solid, so it doesn't have any like toxic odors, anything like that. Uh, for cleanup, I will say that uh, all you need to use is denatured alcohol. You buy it at hardware stores in a gallon can. Do you have any alcohol? Yes. yes. Okay. Should I not get it out? I, I put it out over here. Okay. We have a new one too. Right. You have the alcohol sitting there so they can see it. You want to mix this, I'll back up so you can hear me in my mic. You want to mix this, uh, once you put your A and B together, uh, you need to mix it for about three minutes. So you want to just sit there and let it mix. You don't want to have a really high speed drill, because what a high speed drill will do can whip air and push it down into the product and create an air bubbling situation. So you want to just mix it, you know, a slow speed drill uh, and not whip a bunch of air into the, into the epoxy. I'm going to go ahead and get my spike shoes on so we can talk about spike shoes. Also in our toolkit, you'll be receiving new, these get used quite a bit, uh, spike shoes. Um, these guys are pretty much any size fits all. You put your foot here and it, you even have a big foot. Uh, but this is what we use to install the floors. So we'll be actually be walking out onto the wet epoxy, broadcasting the chips into it. Uh, so th that way it doesn't leave any marks. Um, and then, so we'll be, I'm going to go get these on. Uh, they come with straps. We tend to not use the straps. We tend to use duct tape um, just because it's easy on, easy off, and the straps are kind of a pain after they get epoxy in them. Uh, so simply you take the duct tape, and I'll put it around my foot like so, like that, and around the back of my heel, just like that, so it stays on my foot. <laughs> 